All right, so this is my process for doing the um, section taps or section threads. So I've pre-drilled it with about a nine millimeter bit. I've then done a tiny little recess here with a 10 millimeter bit, gone in a millimeter or two. It's probably gone a tiny little bit too far on this one. Uh, then I will use my, I use my Jacobs chuck for it. Set up back here. So I have um, so a set of three taps. Um, so I always start with the starter tap. So you can see um, it's got sort of more of a gradual sort of start to it. Um, so that will sort of start it. Cut cuts quite aggressively at first, and that way it sort of starts the. Um, the threads nicely. So I just sort of hold it um, in the Jacobs chuck like that. I'll advance it up until it's sort of sitting in it. Um, so I just sort of have the Jacobs chuck sitting loose. Bit of WD-40 I find works fine. So you sort of need to have it pressing in fairly well. Um, so on this machine, I just sort of keep this steady and then I sort of press it in for the first couple and then you'll get the, the threads coming out. I'll give it a couple of turns around and then I'll pull it out and you can see that it's uh, quite a lot of material on there already. Um, so you need to sort of clear that away before you go all the way in. And pretty much to sort of go and sort of make sure you're not cross threading it. I want to try and push it on so it drops onto the threads. And basically, get up to where I was. And see, I'm going backwards and forwards like that to help clear out the material. And then go in far enough. And so you can still see there's still quite a lot of material coming out. So I'll get rid of that. So now that I've gone far enough in, I'll switch to my intermediate tap. So more WD-40. And put it in here and advance it up. So the important thing is to do is make sure you're not cross threading it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll spin this sort of backwards, um, so in reverse, and then you can sort of feel it slip on. And then you sort of feel it sort of like drop on to the new, th onto the threads, and that way you know that you're not um, cutting new threads, you're just sort of going back over the old ones. And so no, I'm using a metal lathe in this instance, but it's essentially the exact same process on a wood lathe. I'm not using any of the metal lathe um, features to do this. Um, I do the, I can do the exact same process on my wood lathe. I just find cutting all the tenons and the drilling easier on this machine. And there we go, that's pretty much it. So, pull this out. So it's really sort of just cleaning up the threads cut from the, um, the starter one. You can see a little bit comes out from the end, and that's about it. Uh, let's see if we can see it on here. Put this in here. Yeah, so you can sort of see the threads in there a little bit. It's all cut very nicely.